What's going on everybody? Back with another video. Today I'll be talking about the Columbia River Knife and Tool Hisatsu 2 folder. Now this is the smaller brother to the original Hisatsu folder that came out a few years ago uh, from CRKT. It's a James William design and uh, in my opinion this is one of the most elegant looking folders ever made by CRKT. You know, uh, of course that's just my own opinion. And uh, it's a perfect gentleman's folder. Uh, it's got the great size, it's got the uh, uh, decent weight to it, you know, and it looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and uh, show you what it uh, looks like in the palm of my hand here. So I have medium sized hands, so this is a true gentleman's folder in my opinion. That is not too big, not too small. Uh, it did come with a pocket clip, I did remove it, and I took out the spring assist, the outburst uh, technology, uh, or whatever the, they call it. Yeah, I think they call it outburst. I took that spring rod out, so now it's just a manual folder, and it is uber smooth. I would dare to compare this to my CRK uh, Sebenza. And look, look at the shape of this uh, um, folder when it's closed. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it's streamlined. It doesn't even look like a knife. Um, when you pull it out of your pocket when it's closed like this, it's just, you know, just looks nice, you know. And, um, but you can flick it out if you need to. And I don't think the size of this knife and the way it looks, it will not raise too many eyebrows here. I would even say that uh, the, this is up on par uh, with my McCusna knives, you know. And for the price point, you can't lose with this knife. It's just, it's beautiful, it's well made, uh, and it's got some great styling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you guys uh, some more what this knife looks like up close. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so first off, let's go and take a look at this here. The handles. It's got these nice kanji characters on it. And you guys can see that the, it has a nice textured look to it, you know. Um, again, just, just very, very beautiful. Uh, this side has the, oh, I think I believe a little plate that if you did reverse the pocket clip, you can take this plate off and move it on this side. But since I just took the pocket clip off all together, I didn't have anything to replace this side with, so I just put the screws back in. The back is uh, has a little hole here, and that is to uh, remove the screw um, to take out the spring rod. Now, uh, a word to anyone who wants to remove the, the, the spring rod, it does require taking the entire knife apart. While it's not hard, it's also not very convenient. Uh, like some of the newer CRKTs and... Uh, and I wouldn't say newer, but some of the CRKTs and some of the Benchmades uh, allows you to pop the uh, spring rod uh, once you take the screw out, which is right there. The spring rod just pulls right out the back. Uh, in this case, it doesn't work that way. You have to actually take the whole knife apart to do it. All right. So here's a shot of the thumb disc here. Uh, I was never a huge fan of thumb discs, but you know, uh, after using Emerson's, uh, I I'm actually uh, sold on it now. It's actually much easier. It saves in parts because only one part technically. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's actually very, very nice to use. Plus, and that keeps a nice streamlined, uh, straight, uh, you know, uh, uh, feel and look to it. The, uh, the liner lock is rather thin, <clears throat> but again, this is a, uh, a gentleman's folder, so I'm not going to be using this for any hard uses. And if I actuate the locks mechanism, you can see, I hope you can see, let's see here. The little piece of metal that comes in comes in a way so before you uh, actuate it uh, you can open up the liner lock and then after you push this piece of metal in the way now the lock can't disengage you know so it's got this large pivot here you know very easy to adjust and uh, this uh, this knife was this buttery smooth when it came out uh, or came in uh, straight from the factory but uh, after adjusting it is still you know butter smooth so and uh, I love, 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 love this blade shape. Um, absolutely beautiful, you know, Japanese in styling, of course. And uh, and you know me, I love my Tonto blades now. I, I never never used to be, be a fan of uh, Tontos, and you know, I've, all of a sudden I became a huge fan of them. So it's a James Williams design. Uh, if I can get this thing to be still for a second. It's, uh, it says uh, Hasatsu 2 Williams. And then uh, I believe that's a patent number under there. I can't really see. <laughs> it's uh, too shiny. Oh, there it is. U.S. patent. And uh, here's the locks uh, button here. Actuate. Uh, now this will lock the blade open. And then now you can disengage it like that. Now I, li I do like the locks better than the auto locks. I like to have the option of it, of me taking it, uh, or using it, and not utilizing it, as opposed to the the uh, spring, you know, forcing the lock to to engage every single time. So. 
And it's very nice because it's a rather open design. So if there was a, if you kept kept this assisted, the spring rod would show right through here. You know, and it's actually a very powerful spring rod too. You know, it doesn't take very much. You just you just push the uh, the blade out uh, just about like this far, and the spring rod takes over and flicks the the blade out. So yeah, extremely awesome. Very beautiful knife. Um, but uh, I would highly recommend this. You know, if anybody wants a nice. Uh, um, gentleman looking knife to carry around and you know and when you pull this out of your pocket it's really not gonna at least in my opinion will not really create too much of a ruckus because even even before you de deploy the blade this looks like looks like doesn't even look like a knife at all really you know and then obviously when you deploy it but it's small enough that uh, it shouldn't raise any eyebrows so there you have it and this is my review of the uh, CRKT um, Hisatsu 2 folder um, these are you know, not new. I mean, I'm not breaking any new new grounds here, but uh, it's still a beautiful knife in that in, in many respects, and uh, I would highly recommend this to anyone. Yeah, for 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 a knife of this price point, it's a uh, very well made. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on this review, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.